The cool thing about Cakewalk is that you have all of these extra tools that are hidden sometimes and some things you may need and some things you may never use, but it's good to know that they're there when you do need them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and create a track. I'm gonna go to insert instrument track. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. And you should know it by now. What I'm gonna use is the SI drum kit because I'm using that primarily for this series and I am ready to record, but I am not going to record anything this time. I am going to drag and drop using what's called MIDI groove clips. If you look over to the side, there is what's called MIDI groove clips, right? What you need to do is click on media, go down to the arrow that pulls down and you should see a bunch of options. Look for MIDI groove clips. And once you do that, now you have all of these little MIDI clips that you can drag and drop. So I'm gonna click on drums, uh, let's see what kind of groove I'm going for. Let's go for a hip hop groove and let's try this hip hop East. Oh, don't like that one. I don't really care for that particular section of clips, but let me go back and see what else is in here. Now this may not be, you know, the best type of drums ever, but you could take something out of here and you could expand on it or if you want to, you know, alter it, change it a little bit. Let's see what this funk sounds like. I'm gonna go ahead and use this groove just for this demonstration, all right? So now I've got it there. Now I can go up here and I can go to my SI drum kit. I'm gonna change the kit because I don't like that kit. Uh, let's do like a hip hop heavy. See what this sound like. And I'm gonna turn these hi-hats down some. Okay. I'm just tuning up the snare drum a little bit, just playing around with it. I'm gonna center that back. Uh, I'm gonna tone these hi-hats up some as well. I'm gonna bring these down just a little bit more. Now, if that's an ideal groove that you want to deal with, then you can work out with that. Say if I want to adjust the velocity on the notes within this particular pattern, I can go straight to my piano roll, which I'm in, and now I can click. Now I have the option set up top to show velocity on selected notes only, because when you have it just showing velocity, you're going to see all of these lines and it's going to look confusing to you, uh, but fear not, just go up to notes click on show velocity on selected notes only. And then once you have that done, then you can just click where you need it. I want this snare to be a little lower right here. So I've reduced it and I'm gonna reduce this snare. You notice that the velocity line is all the way up to the top, right? So we wanna go ahead and lower that one as well. What you do is you hover over towards the end tail of the particular beat or a particular section, you'll notice that you see these little bar graph kind of like, click on it, hold it down, and then you can drag it. Okay, so now that makes it more like a ghost note. Now, if I want to highlight all of these at one time and lower the velocity on all of them, just press on the key, like if I press on B flat, it'll highlight all of those, and then I can just choose any one. Once I get that little bar graph signal on my cursor, then I can just drag them down. Maybe this is all I need, and I don't really need to do anything else to it. I just, I'm okay with this. This is a good way for you to start off and get the project moving. 
You can always go back and change these drums later on. You can always pick a different pattern if you want to, but it's okay. 